Hello and welcome back to my Pokemon Storm Silver Nuzlocke. This is part 17 and we're here inside Olivine City. Uh, we do not have the gym available to us just yet because last episode, after all of the shenanigans that happened with the fifth gym, we did get a phone call from Bauba, I believe his name was, who said the Safari Zone was open but the Team Rocket goons are attacking and we have to deal with all of their business first. So because of that, I didn't evolve Carmex into a Blastoise, we still have the same team as before, nothing's changed. I did really consider whether we wanted to get Combustion into a Blaziken beforehand, but I decided against that, because we should be getting a load of XP from the area over here anyway. So, we saved Amphi, we did all that good stuff, we have no reason to be in Olvine any longer other than that gym. So let's go and get this Team Rocket out of the way so that we can get into that gym and progress. Now. Uh, I have shuffled some items around, not too much, but you know, something worth covering. Carmex has the Quick Claw, uh, Combusken has the EXP share, I've got to remember all this. Luxray has the Choice Band once again, and Flareon has the King's Rock. You might wonder why does Flareon have the King's Rock when it has all flinching moves. This is Gen 4, so it doesn't work the way it does now. Flinching is just an additional 10% on top of any move at this point in Gen 4. It's either Gen 4 or Gen 3. I'm almost positive it is Gen 4, but I could be wrong. Uh, so all of these moves, despite having flinch chances <laughs> on them, have a 10% increased flinch chance, which can be kind of fun. Uh, I do want to play about with that. If that is wrong, I mean, oh well. <laughs> it's basically just like we don't have an item. It's not too big of a worry. Kid, do you want to go to the Safari Zone? Then pay up with your Pokemon. No? No? Yeah, what are you going to say about that? Huh? What if I just say no? Team Rocket Grunt sends out Golbat. What levels are we talking here? We're talking level 33. That's respectable. I think we can fight that. I do want to get... Look at this Quick Claw propping already, though. I don't think it's going to make too much of a difference at this point, but you know. Uh, I do want to get Carmex evolved, because obviously having a Blastoise will be a massive help. Uh, Eka is not too big of a deal. Uh, we can finish him with an Upjet if the Surf hits, which should be fine. I mean, the Surf can't miss. But the quicker we get a Blastoise, the better, because there will be a lot of additional bulk, uh, which is obviously very nice. He's, he's withdrawing. Into, is that a War Absorb Cacti? It's not War Absorb, but it's still a play. That is still a play. That is 100% a good play. Uh, okay. Okay, we can swap. We can swap. I could have went into Combusken. Maybe got Combusken some XP. I'm not going to worry too much about Combusken right now, though. I'm going to focus on the others. Rather than bring in Combusken that's a little bit underleveled, I'm sure it would be fine against a Pimmisle and Cacturn, don't get me wrong, but... I want to play it safe. I want to play it safe, mostly. Because I don't want to lose a Pokemon. Because all these Pokemon are going to be really good for Jasmine's gym. So hopefully there's nothing too crazy. We should just be fighting some Rocket Goons. So I imagine... Actually, no. We might be fighting an Executive. I don't remember. I don't remember. I really don't. We're going to go into Carmex, though. Get Carmex and XP. Against this Mightyena. And then we're going to swap out immediately. Right out into buff? Maybe not into buff. Maybe not into buff, now that I think about it. Going into buff would be a pretty bad idea. Uh, actually, who do we want to go into? I didn't think this through. Scar? I guess? Fire Fang. That's not too big of a deal. We have the Spark. I would have loved it if that Fire Fang had burnt me, because then we could have got the Guts boost and all that good stuff. Cancels out the, you know, drop from burn. And it would have killed... Oh, that would have been so good. Uh, assurance isn't too much damage though, and we can just spark again, that'll be fine. Nice and easy. And now we can go back into Garmex. How this fight originally started, go for the upgen and finish everything off. Look at this. Boom. Watch it not kill. Okay, that's good. That's fine. Nice and easy. Look at that. Garmex is gonna get 604 XP. Not quite enough to get it to evolve, so one more battle. But you know what? It's progress in the right direction. Ah, this isn't over, kid. What do you have to say? Did you know? We need help? You don't say. Hmm. Everything is thrilling. Explore to find wild Pokemon. Warden Battle Safari Zone is up and running. Okay. I don't think we can get a Pokemon in this area. What was this called again? Like the cave side entrance? I don't remember what this place was called. It was called something else. It was like the cliffside or something. It's not a route. I know that. So I don't know if we can get a Pokemon in here or not. 
Uh, against a Raticate, what do we want to do? I'm going to just surf this first turn and see what he does. He crunches. That still does a chunk. That still chunks. Okay. Oh, but that does a lot. Okay, now we need to swap. Uh, if he's going to crunch again, then we can happily go into Combuskin and double kick. Uh, so we should be fine to do this. He's going to go for Thunderfang. He had Thunderfang all along. Okay, calm down. It's so much damage? Okay. Yeah, calm down. Fine. We'll just go into Chica. No worries. Just don't whip out Ice Fang or anything like that, okay? Sounds great. Crunch again. That does a good chunk of damage. We go for the Gig Drain. It's gonna crunch again. Okay, Gig Drain's gonna heal us up. Okay. Okay, that was somewhat scary. Layer one. I really wanna go into Carmex here. I really want to go into Carmex here. Because we can go for a Surf right here, and there's no way you're doing anything to me. Look at that. Easy. Easy! Give me that level up. That's what I want. We're gonna learn Scun... Scun Bash? Scun Bash. That's a different one. We're gonna learn Skull Bash. Uh, better than Withdraw, because it has Withdraw's effect in it. The first turn of Skull Bash, you get your fence raised anyway, so it's basically Withdraw, but you get a better effect on the second turn. Oh! 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 Why? I mean... I mean, I guess it's a headbutt. I mean, I guess it's like Skull Bash, right? Oh, this is so weird. We're learning two moves at level 36 when we haven't evolved. That's kind of trippy. Okay, um... Do I value Zen Headbutt? Bite or Skull Bash? I really want to keep Aqua Jet and we're obviously going to keep Surf. Um... Am I ever going to use Skull Bash? Over Zen Headbutt? It's not really giving me any coverage. But it is a nice defense boost. I'd say it's better than Bite? Bite's a bit low on base power at this point. If it was Crunch or Dark Pulse, then I'd probably argue it'd be worth it, but Bite, I'm gonna get rid of. Feels weird to have said Headbutt. And now we're gonna Revolve. And learn Hydro Cannon! Okay, maybe not, but still. Um, what comics is evolving? This is time. Please learn another move. Please. <laughs> Just learn Hydro Cannon. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I wouldn't even want Hydro Cannon, to be honest. I like Aqua Jet and stuff, so it's all good. It's weird that we learn two moves before evolving. Normally, you learn a move, and then you'd evolve, and then you'd have a chance to learn, like, a different move. That happens a few times in Pokemon, but not really two on the pre-evolve form. Oh my god, will it- Ha! He! Who? Zap Cannon. Mmm. 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 Zap Cannon. Mmm. Mmm. That's... Oh, that's a good move. Mmm. That's, that's a fun move. That move is for fun. Um... I'm trying to work out if it's actually worth it. We have 60 special attack. We have negative special attack at the end of the day. Uh... Sure. Zap can kind of makes up for that. In fact, that has a really high base power. But how often are we going to hit Zap Cannon in a close situation... There's a lot of things against it, which I don't care, Zap Cannon, let's just take it. <laughs> no, I, I can't convince myself not to. We don't need Zen Head, but I'll keep Skull Bash for the defense boost and all of that good stuff, but there's no way I'm not taking Zap Cannon. <laughs> there is no way. That's a crazy Pokemon we just got. I'm going to run back and heal everyone up right now rather than run into the next fight while everyone's low. And the next fight, we're just gonna lead with Blastoise of Zap Cannon and see what happens. Because that sounds fun. That's a crazy turn of events. I am in a little bit of shock right now. We learned three moves on a Pokemon at level 36. You could essentially have an entirely different Pokemon after leveling up once, and that's crazy. And I don't mean just because it evolved. I mean, like, you could have it evolve, it would st it stats would be different, and it'd become just an entirely different moveset. That's so weird. That's so weird. Right, who are we zap cannoning? Right, we're zap cannoning you? Okay. <laughs> I don't... And we miss. And we get paralyzed. I'm zap cannoning something. I am. I am zap cannoning. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> this is what they call going mad with power. Um, <laughs> but we can set off to finish. The quick claw coming in. Okay, so I didn't really need to zap cannon the supply, but I could have used surf twice. But you don't get the same amount of fun from just using surf twice. Don't you like quick tackle level 42 because you're a weird Pokemon? Yeah, that's weird. It's... <sighs> Combuskin, I don't like. I don't mind Torchic, I don't mind Blaziken, but Combuskin is weird. It doesn't learn like any good moves. It's just a really weird Pokemon, you know? I don't like it in comparison to the others. Pilot's why I'm staying it against. We can't zap cannon it, but we can surf it, and that works out. Combuskin should learn a better fire type of. All it ever gets is Ember. Uh, that sucks. That really sucks. Pilot's wine drops, though, which is kind of nice. And camera. We're, we're staying in. You're just letting my... This is a bit more risky now. <laughs> this is a little bit more risky now. We might even just be able to Aqua Jet and just destroy him. I'm Aqua Jetting. I believe in my Blastoise. Oh my god, okay, never mind. <laughs> okay, I believe in my Blastoise. I take it. I just, yeah, mm hmm. Okay, that was great. And finally, B Drill. Uh, well, I mean, Aerialist, I guess. We shouldn't have any problems with this at all. Or Fly, even. We don't have Aerialist. Go for the agility to try and outspeed me before I land, but that's not how it works. Beaten by a kid, sniff. Uh, Lyra, no. <laughs> Sorry, Lyra. <laughs> I don't think I've ever answered her phone call, have I? Did I answer her once? Did she talk about her Marrow? Maybe. Maybe once. I feel bad, though. <laughs> I really do. Alright. Let's heal you up, though, which is nice and handy. We'll continue with this Blastoise in front, because he's a tank. Route 47, so this is a new encounter. <gasps> Mira! Mira, is that your name? Mira, okay, I do have her name right. Wow, that's a thing to remember. Oh, you must be Carlos. Baba asked Mira, I only remember because she says her name all the time. <laughs> Baba asked Mira and her companions for help, but he's stuck at the Safari Zone. Mira never saw him, but she did hear a trainer called Carlos would be arriving. Help Mira defeat these guys. Defeat us? We'll see about that, punk. Alright, let's go Blastoise, let's win this. I'm gonna send out Drowsy and Rhyhorn, you have a Porygon too. Ugh, okay, right, let's get this over with. I don't wanna be here. I don't wanna be here, you don't wanna be here, let's just speed this up. Let's get this Porygon off the screen. Porygon, can you like, die? What happens if I attack the Porygon? Can I surf it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I don't care for it. <laughs> I'm surfing it again. Am I? Or am I just gonna like, skull bash the drowsy or something? I'm gonna skull bash the drowsy. We'll get the defense raised, which is kind of nice because we're up against two Pokemon, which is obviously a very good thing. We are attempting to become a really bulky Pokemon. You have try attack. Yo, this Pokemon 2's got the moveset at least. It's so disgusting. I hate this Pokemon. I really hate Porygon 2. <laughs> it's such a disgusting Pokemon. Uh, we're about to Skull Bash that 1 HP Pokemon, yes. Yes, that's, that's something we did. We Skull Bashed a 1 HP Pokemon, that's fine, and we crit it! We crit Skull Bashed a 1 HP Pokemon. Is that overkill? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely, but oh well. And tri is gonna hit the Licky Licky, burn him. Freeze him. Freeze him. I take it back, freeze him. That'd be great. Give me the freeze. No freeze. Wait, no! I wanted it to survive so I could surf and kill it myself! What do you have next? Alkazam? Oh. Oh. Well. I mean, let's just surf that as well. You know, this is not too big of a deal. If it was the Alkazam, then sure, I wouldn't have surfed. I'd have been like, that's a powerful Pokemon, let me focus the Licky Licky down. But, mm, Togetic? Nah. <laughs> Sorry. Looks like we're surfing anyway now. Okay. This should be fine, and he's gonna miss his slam, he's gonna extra sensory, which is nice, which is nice. This can do some good damage, it's not a psychic type, so it's not stab, but if we put us in surf range, which it does, we should be fine for this turn. Because even though we won't necessarily kill the Licky Licky, the Totogetic should. He's gonna roll out, extra sensory takes out the Licky Licky. Look at that. And then there is a Sharpedo. 
I think we have every ability to stay in against this. Shapido shouldn't have anything crazy. It could potentially crunch, but we're at plus one defense. It's a Shapido. I'm not too worried. Or a Blastoise. We should be able to take that. Yeah, we do. Okay, we do get defense drop though. And he comes in with Alakazam. Well, she comes in with Alakazam, I should say. Are we still... We are still locked in to Surf. Okay. Surf it is. Alakazam, I am sorry. You're going to take a lot from this. Yeah, okay. My bad. You're dead. <laughs> You're dead, Alakazam. Okay. Uh... Alakazam's rough skin hurt the foe Sharpedo. Okay, we Aqua Jet and we finish. Wow, that was a battle. That was crazy. Don't we have more of these? Do we have more of these? Mira said friends. Mira said her and her friends. Right? Right? Or did I make that up? I may have made that up. I might be crazy, I don't know. Gah, retreat! Thanks. There's more of Team Rocket up ahead, though. Mira will heal your Pokemon. Hell yes! Mira, you're the best. Are you gonna come with me? No. Okay, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Uh, alright. Uh, what do we want to do with things? I almost want to take the EXP shit off the KFC, but that would obviously not be the best. Uh, let's put... I really want to keep Carmex in front, I'm not gonna lie. I want to use Zap Cannon on things. There's a Strength Ball blocking that way. Wait, we don't have Strength yet, do we? This Team Rocket designed boulder refuses to budge. So it's not a strength boulder? That's super weird. Okay, never mind. Aha, I was wondering when you would arrive. We came to help, but there's more of these rocket goons than we can handle alone. But now, you're here. Let's take them down. Brats, rats, gnats. Brats, rats, gnats? What the hell? Okay, sure. That's a strange saying, I'll give you that. This isn't the best matchup for me, but you know what? I can zap Canada my front. <laughs> God damn it, why do I have to miss? <laughs> that was so perfect. So last time we got started off with a Porygon 2. This time we get started off against an Umbreon. So both scummy, bulky Pokemon, but Umbreon, at least there's a little bit of it I like. At least there's a little bit of nostalgia with Umbreon, to me at least. Because I really loved Pokemon Coliseum as a kid. It was a great game. And obviously you start with Espeon and Umbreon in that game. So they grew on me a lot. Pokemon 2 does not grow on me at any point in its existence. Okay, that Pokemon will never grow on me. But uh, we're definitely going to have to swap out with Kamax here, sadly. Because I don't want to take Mega Drains or anything like that. That kind of sucks. Hopefully the Nightshade will not... Okay, the Nightshade still comes on to me. We are on our bulkiest Pokemon though. This Umbreon is just setting up double teams, which is not helping me. It's really not. Uh, I actually want to focus the Murkrow. God damn it, we missed. Okay. He's gonna Mega Drain. I don't want to get hit by both of their attacks on a turn, so I'm gonna Super Potion this turn. Umbreon, can you help me? Okay, if he's... Just the clue has Drain Punch? That's really weird. Alright, if the Murkrow is confused, I'm going to take out the Gloom. Also, the Gloom has Drain Punch for some reason, which I don't understand at all, but the Gloom has Drain Punch. Why not, right? Why not? Sure thing. Do what you want to do. Murkrow, if you could hit yourself, that'd be really appreciated. Stop, though. Stop. Please. I don't want to waste any, like, Hyper Potions. I'm wondering if I maybe should. Damn. Withdrew Murkrow. That's really good. And a confused round to Loudrick. Please hit yourself for one turn. Please. Howl. Sorry, Nuzleaf. You are not the target. Loudrick, you gotta die. He missed Fake Out. I thought he was Fake Outing me. I have no idea why he would Fake Out the Umbreon right there. Alright. We have a Burn Chance. We have a Flinch Chance. We have a Kill Chance, apparently. We have a Kill Chance. Okay, Umbreon with the Dark Pulse. Picking up the kill. This is teamwork right here. This is teamwork. Double battles are the worst battles, though. No joke. They are the worst battles, because you never know what your teammate's going to do. I have to see this thing again. <laughs> I have to see Octillery again. Why, though? 
We're gonna go into Chica. Chica should be able to deal with anything. I know Octillery gets some crazy coverage with like Flamethrower, Ice Beam, Octazooka, Zap Cannon. It gets some weird moves, don't get me wrong, but like, I need to swap into a bulky Pokemon. So Nuzleaf is confused. It gets the low kick off though. That's gonna do a chunk. It's a small chunk actually. It's a small chunk. And he's gonna Bubble Beam. That's a respectable move. It's nothing crazy. I'll take it. Octillery is still a weird evolution line. Like, I understand everything about it. I get it. Grim Raid's a gun. Octillery's a cannon. But no. <laughs> no, I don't like it though. It just doesn't make sense in my head. It's a weird evolution. We take out the Octillery of one hit though, which is obviously lovely. I feel like Remoraid should have been a single stage evolution that sort of tied in with Mantike, Mantine, that evolution. And Octillery should have just been a completely separate designed Octopus Pokemon. That would just make more sense in my head, but Pokemon did it the way they wanted to do it, and it's what we have to deal with, I guess. It's just a little bit weird to me. Uh, I am going to kick a drain the Nuzleaf. It's not going to do a whole lot of damage, but eh, should hopefully do enough. Hopefully? Okay, maybe not. But if he hits himself, or well, the Dark Pulse connects, which is much more likely, but you know. And finally, we fight ourselves. Oh, that was Mozilla hit. Mozilla, you trolled me! I thought KFC hit level 36 for a second there. I was like, what? That's amazing! Right, I want to swap in... Actually, it's not going to have any poison type move. It's not. It's really not. I had this Pokemon. It doesn't have a poison type move. Known as a TM for Sludge Bomb. And even then, I think we could live one really badly. I'm Earth Powering, because it's the best move we have. It's super effective. The Umbreon can still Dark Pulse. It might not even target me. There are a lot of things in my favor here. We got a special defense drop. Dark Pulse him, crit him. Body Slam. Not a poison type move. Okay, we're good. No worries. You have Psychic. Okay, all right then. Just whip out that last second coverage, why don't you? Oh, and there's still Makro. I forgot about Makro. <laughs> I forgot about him. Um, I'm gonna, I don't wanna be in with this Pokemon, do I? I'm gonna keep it draining. I think we'll be fine. I don't think Makro has anything crazy for us. He's just gonna Nightshade, get confused. We're gonna keep it draining again, he's gonna be dead. Nice and easy. I predicted the turn where he would hit himself. Look at that. Yeah, Master Archer won't be happy with us. That was the most terrifying yah, okay? You know, that was a squeal, I'll tell you. <laughs> that was a smoking hot pal. It's not over yet, though. Let me heal your Pokemon. I like this healing stuff, though. I like that a lot. That's handy. Alright, what's this, then? We find a revive. Great. Thanks for the troll game. I appreciate the troll. I get it. Some people don't play the Nuzlocke, but... Okay. Game? Game? Game! Are you... This is a different glitch. I'm gonna run back to this point. Uh... <laughs> this... This happened before. This happened before when I was trying to record the last episode as well. So whether I have something happening right now, I'm not entirely sure. But I think it's because of the Olivine and Cyanwood area at least. It's, it's happened in Sianwood City both times. There might be a problem in this area of the game. Not 100% sure. Gonna run back to here, though. Okay, so I don't know exactly what happened there last time, but we're here again with our team in the same kind of standing. Uh, I think XP is pretty much the same. I did the same thing, except this time I got a Zap Cannon off onto the Murkrow, which felt really good. So other than that, we should be in exactly the same situation. Uh, speed up is a wonderful thing. Right, let's go ahead and go to this boulder again, though, because I believe... Upon inspection, the boulder cracked and shattered. That's super weird. Okay. I didn't do anything in between. I've literally just ran back here. So I'm assuming this battle triggers the boulder to break. That's the only thing I can understand. Okay, sure. Uh, Cliff Cave, though, is an encounter. So, if we can get a Pokemon down here, this is an encounter for the episode, which is kind of hype. Our encounter for Cliff Cave is... Ooh, that's some water type. That's not what I want to see, but it's a Kingler. Okay. 
Uh, <laughs> I nearly went straight to it. Okay, we don't want to go for the Zap Cannon. I'm pretty sure I can live a Surf. Uh, Kinglet is a Pokemon I really feel underwhelmed by. It's never a Pokemon I'm like, hey, look at that incredible damage it put out. Sure, it stomped me right there with a crit, and it took a third of my health, but that was with a crit. So it's nothing crazy, but it's a Pokemon, so we'll take it. Uh, Metal Claw does not do too much at all. We do still have two more potential encounters, I want to say. Because I'm pretty sure there's Route 47, Route 48, and the Safari Zone as well. So we could actually get three more encounters. Its pincer grow peculiarly large. If it lifts the pincers too fast, it loses its balance and staggers. That just sounds so stupid. Okay, I love it. Uh, the pincer Pokemon. Do we want to give it a nickname? Yes. We are going to call you... Uh... Uh, uh, let's be really, really boring. Right, right. That's an O, that's not what I want. I want a Q. Right, so this Pokemon's called Kingler, right? This is a female, and I don't have a name for Kingler, ever, right? I'm never gonna have a name for Kingler. So let's just call it Queenler and be done with it. That sounds great, I like that plan. Kingler is not a Pokemon that's high on my list of choices, you know? Uh, what we can do is we can surf around, go ahead and get ourselves our Route 47 encounter. I like the fact that Blastoise, like, went down, you know, just got, got, got into the surfing position. I like that. I like that a lot. It's a little touch in this game, but hey, it's worth it. Uh, we'll heal you back up as well. And let's go ahead and get us a surf encounter for this area. Ooh, waterfall. I like waterfalls. Waterfalls are pretty. We got ourselves our encounter, which is going to be a... <gasps> it's seal! I'm so happy! I'm so happy! It's a seal! <laughs> oh, it's a seal! Oh, it's a seal! It's a seal! Okay! Okay, time to sit up! Okay! Okay, here! Here, little adorable seal! Here, little boy! You can live a surf! I know you can live a surf! You're thick! You're a thick seal, okay? You are a derpy, blubber-filled seal! Look at that damage! He takes no damage! He doesn't care about your attacks! He's got food to eat! I love this Pokemon! It did four! It did four damage! He's so bulky! He's so bulky. In a Nuzlocke, that's a very good thing. <laughs> in a normal run, you might not want that. But in a Nuzlocke, I'll take it. It has Aqua Ring, which is kind of annoying to make. It's annoying for catching, but good overall. Uh, let's go ahead and throw that Great Ball. I need Seal. I need a Seal on my team. I need it. Please. Please. Seal, please. Yes, Seal. Yes. Yes, you just have to talk in between every single roll, and then it catches. Simple. Simple solution. I like it. Oh, seal data was added to the Pokedex. In daytime, it is often found asleep on the seabed in shallow waters. Its nostrils close while it swims. Uh... But that tongue. We're not going to talk about the tongue? Okay, let's not talk about the tongue. Give me a nickname for the court seal. Yes. You are called... You're blubber. You are blubber. That's that's exactly what you are. You are a blubber. You are exactly one blubber. And you're beautiful. This Pokemon is beautiful. Right, but let's leave. Hello? Shell? Shell Cole? Why is Shell Cole speaking to me? For a waffle. What is happening? I'm so confused. Is this from the bridge above? Game, you need to- no. Not like this. <laughs> not like this game. Not like this. I just wanted an encounter game, okay. Uh, isn't Cheryl the person with the blissy in the forest in Pokemon uh, Platinum and all that? Yeah. Okay. Ah, you must be Carlos. I was told of your arrival, but I'm surprised to see you so soon. Yes, yeah, same. Same. Yeah, I'm not meant to be there yet. Okay? We clear on that? I'm not meant to be here yet. Alright. Maybe defeat these goons? She said goons too, I like it. The Safari Zone is ours, you are taking it back. Okay. Okay. That's a little bit weird. That's a little bit weird, but all right. Uh, what are we doing here? Mm, I kind of want to Aqua Jet the Hound Hour. I don't think we're going to get taken out by one Grass type move. We're going to Aqua Jet the Hound Hour, try and take that out before it can get any Dark type moves off on the Drift Blim. 
Now I'm gonna hope the Drifblim has like... <sighs> Gust, I don't know, Tit Snova, I don't know what flying type moves Drifblim Blitz. Yeah, not a lot, not a lot. Ice Shard, that should be on Drifblim though, that's okay. I'll let him tank it all up for me, that's good. <laughs> I don't want to take any unnecessary damage. We are gonna get buffed by the Hail. That did a lot. Fly. I guess that makes sense. Mm. Yeah, I guess everyone would have Fly at this point. Yeah. That also explains how they got over here so quickly. I like it. Uh, Gligar actually comes in. While Driftblim is in the air, I can surf freely as well, without worrying about hitting my teammate. Look at that Quick Claw proccing a lot. I think uh, the Quick Claw on Blastoise is actually really worth it. It's worked out a lot. It's also proccs a lot, which tempts me to use it more. Gligar just drops though, which is nice, because Snova should be going down to this fly no matter what. I don't think I even needed to do damage. Maybe it had a Focus Sash? I don't think so, but maybe. <laughs> I don't believe that for a second though. Uh, and Fly takes it out, nice and easy, because it didn't go for Ice Shard or anything, because it was in the air. Alright, that was good. Cummix is like single-handedly destroying everything right now. I feel like I need to chill out with the Blastoise, but... I want to use the Blastoise, you know? You know what I'm saying? I want to use the new Blastoise I got with Zap Cannon. <laughs> uh, Vibrava comes in. Okay. Okay, Vibrava and Persian. Okay. Alright, that's a team. Uh, again, I don't... I guess I want to Skull Bash to get the defense, but that's locking myself in for two turns. When I could Zap Cannon a Persian. So, like... Yeah. Damn it. How am I the fastest? How am I the fastest thing on the field? That wasn't even a quick claw prop, right? Wow. Drifflin's gonna fly again. That worries me a little bit. Faint attack. Okay, okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, hmm. Who is he using fly on though? Well, I guess this leaves me using surf this time. I didn't want to surf before because I didn't want to hit the Drifblim and kill it, but if I'm not hitting anyone, then sure I'll surf. That's why I went for the Zap Cannon. It wasn't entirely for the memes, only slightly for the memes. Uh, but Vibrava should get taken down pretty low. Ooh, Vibrava, you are frail! And Fly was on Persian, which is kind of good. If it takes it out, anyway. Yeah, that's kind of good, because I can upgrade the Vibrava next turn. Carmex can just solo everything. This episode is Blastoise. That's what happened this episode. Blastoise happened. That's all we need to know. Okay? That's all we need. Drifblim also <gasps> Drifblim took it out because of the aftermath! The plays! The play- This is amazing. I can zap cannon that. <laughs> I see a Pokemon come out and I'm not like, Oh, well this isn't bad typing for me. Oh, you know what? This isn't super effective against me. This is okay. I think I can zap cannon that. Mirror move. Mirror move failed. Zap cannon. We missed. Blissey, what are you gonna do? Bliss Blissey has Ice Beam! Blissey ain't taking none of your shit! Blissey has Ice Beam! Blissey's hit to kill! Blissey's hit to murder! Oh my lord! Blissey, chill! With the freeze! Are you gonna die to hail? Is he gonna die to hail right now? I didn't die to hail. Okay. <laughs> Look, okay, he's frozen, right? Right? He's frozen. I could go and get extra XP on oh, that's, that's not worth it against the flying type. Now that I think that through, not worth the risk. Not even slightly worth the risk. That's a Pokemon that learns Drill Peck. Let's not play that game. I just wanted to get KFC to a point where it evolved. You're not saying anything? Okay. We're just gonna see both trainers, sure. No way, how did we get beaten? Thank you for your help, you have my gratitude, I'll heal the Pokemon's thanks. I'm not near you! Oh, Joey! <laughs> I'm not even... Let's just, let's just click for it. Okay, let's just click for it. There we go. Nice and simple. Uh, let's go ahead and... How close are you to evolving? Do we want to just, like, train you up right now? Because I am actually not against that. I'm not against just chilling around here, killing a few wild Pokemon, getting it to a point where it's evolved before the next fight. Because some of these Pokemon have looked pretty terrifying. Uh, we'll get it all back for the next fight, it's not too big of a deal. I do want to see if... Okay, if I can't run from you though, that's a different story. Stupid Wingull. Alright. I do want to see if there's anything we can get around here. Does this activate Route 48? 
Items? Item? Anything? No? Oh! Deep Sea Tooth! Aha! Okay. So if we ever get that powerful clam pearl, we have ourselves a Huntail. Which, uh... Is something. I don't know if I want to walk underneath this bridge. I thought it happened again. I don't know. <laughs> okay, but there's nothing else over here, so we can go ahead and run back the other way. Uh, we got all the items over here. The rest is just a straightforward uh, waterfall, which we can't go up just yet. Although I thought we can get past the strength boulder just yet. We proved that wrong because that wasn't a real boulder. See, you're getting pale danced, okay, buddy? I just want your XP. You know, any XP for KFC right now, I will take. Because it's so close to evolving, you know, and it's, it's a pretty big evolution as well. Blaziken compared to Combuskin, probably one of the bigger evolutions that we could have happen. I'll, I'm just evolving it. There should be some strong Pokemon in here. That's a little bit too strong. <laughs> That's a little bit too strong. It's a Golbat, but like, no. We hit ourselves in confusion, we go to sleep. Let's not. Let's not do that. Quagsire. <gasps> we give it a Quagsire. I'm so happy that we got a Kingler. No joke. I hate Quagsire. <laughs> I am so happy. Can we just evolve this KFC, please? Should be this fight, right? I don't want to fight that. I just want to. I just want to evolve. <gasps> Thought it was a shiny trap inch for a second there, and then all my happiness went away. Okay, never mind. Still no evolution. We could have had a trap inch. That would have been a goodie Pokemon to get. I'm a choke. Look at all these Pokemon that are here, though. How close are you to evolving? What? Did I look at it wrong? Was I looking at the wrong Pokemon? 49 XP. 49 XP. Okay. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. You're just testing me. You're just testing me. Hippopotas! Look at all these Pokemon in this area! What is this? She gets level 36. KFC has level 36. And we get an evolution. I think that was worth doing. Next fight is probably going to be a landslide either way, because we have a Blastoise, but still. Let's go ahead and get ourselves a decent Fire-type move, and now we can actually use this Pokemon. Hell yes. This is what. KFC evolves into Blaze Kick. Now give me that Blaze Kick. Please tell me you still have Blaze Kick. Okay, good. I know things have been changed, just... <laughs> that's something I really don't want changed. Forget a move, yes. We are going to get rid of Ember for Blaze Kick. Or do we want to go to Sand Attack? Sand Attack could still have use. As much as I hate saying that, it could still have use. If we're about to get swept and lose the entire lock, then I would rather Sand Attack and try and prevent that. But now we can take the XP share off of you. We can give it the King's Rock, which I think is probably more effective on Blaziken, personally. It's debatable. But, I want to take your item, what am I doing? It's debatable, sure, whether it's worth it or not. Because, I mean, at the end of the day, if the flinch chance is still there on Mozilla, it's probably worth it, but still. Uh, uh, do I want to put you in front? Yeah, sure. Why not? Why not? You're a strong Pokemon now. You got this. Hasty nature. Look at these sudden increases in stats. 104 attack? Here we go. Alright, so we have more bridges. Uh, I don't know who else we have to deal with. I don't think we saw... Well, the next bridge up ahead would have been... Cheryl, we're invisible. Time to save and do all this stuff. Oh, we blipped back for a second. That was weird. Okay. I have said this before, but I'm pretty sure... The sprite glitch is linked to when you're using the speed up button on the emulator. But I could be wrong. Oh, there's actually a person here. Um, I mean, we just, we're fine. Come to mess up our plans. I have a Team Rocket executive, and unlike that full Proton, it won't be beaten so easily. You will, though. You will. Brad Cake, please, double kick. You wanna chill, Brad Cake? Do you wanna chill? Because I think you wanna chill. That did a lot. He withdrew into gold, perhaps. Blaze kick. I just want to use a Blaziken right now, okay? Can you let me do that? Thank you. Can we just land this Blaze kick? There we go. Look at Blaziken coming through. Nice. I like it. 
I like it. I like the sudden strength we have behind us. Because honestly, Kabuskin can be so weak. Uh, Weezing... I guess that's Karnax's domain, honestly. What does Zav Cannon hit, but I should probably serve. Against a Weezing that's kinda bulky, I think I'd rather have just confirmed damage, just in case we have to swap. No! Not like this! 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 Stop that! Stop that! Mm -mm. Uh uh, no. Nuh uh. Not, no. Okay, I like that. I like that a lot. Weezing has really good physical defense. Probably gonna live this just fine. Yep, okay. Pain split. Oh, no. You know what I was saying about sand attack? I'm not playing games with this Pokemon. I'm not playing games with this Pokemon. It has Sludge Bomb? No. No, I'm playing the sand attack game right now. Okay, okay. I'm glad I'm playing the sand attack game right now, because that is some scary damage. If we get poisoned, we get guts. If we get poisoned, we die! What do I do? This guy's asleep. I can't even use my Lux, right? Um... 100% can't go into Blastoise. 100% can't go into Meganium. They have super effective moves on them. Buff gets hit by Thunder. I don't see Blaziken. Uh, Blaziken, what's your defense? Please can you use a clutch Pokemon? 56. Brazil, what's your defense? 53. It's no better, honestly. Because of the HP difference, that's no better at all. I'm a little bit scared right now. Um, I'm sand attacking. I'm doing this. Okay. Okay. We're gonna go for some fire fangs now. We have the guts boost. I didn't think the poison would straight up kill on that turn. I was right, but it was a little bit closer than I thought. It also has fire blaster. Okay, he has, he has some coverage. That Weezing's a little bit scary. A little bit scary. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Uh, that Fire Fang does some very good damage. He misses, which is very, 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 very good. We Fire Fang, and this should take him out. That was close. I wish I'd leveled up my <laughs> Flareon instead of the Blaziken right now. Oh, there's a Scum Tank. I don't want to play with the Scum Tank either. Oh, uh, do I stay in? Because I'm Guts boosted? Or do I go into Blaziken? Or do I go into Buff? What's Buff gonna do? Buff could Sword Stance. What's it gonna have? Sludge Bomb? Sucker Punch? Potentially? Aftermath may be a thing. I'm gonna try and go into buff and sword stance close combat. That should 100% be enough to kill. I just have to really hope he doesn't have any weird move like Thunderbolt. If he whips out Thunderbolt, we're in trouble. We outspeed, we sword stance. That's good. Next time we close combat, he dies. Poison jab. We can live this. We can live this just fine. That's okay, and then we close combat and he dies. Even if he went for Sucker Punch, we resisted it. This battle got really intense. I was not expecting this. Um, he does. Aftermath? Or no Aftermath? We don't die to Aftermath, but like, I'm scared. It might determine whether I stay in against the next Pokemon or not. More Slide Poison Jab. That's a crazy coincidence. Okay, fine. You wanna just learn the move that just smacked you in the face? Uh, I like my moveset though, to be truly honest. 
Like, it's not a bad move by any means, but double stab and, you know, slash? Is it worth having slash over poison jab? Poison jab lets us hit. Fairy's not a thing yet. Grass types we already deal with a flying type most now. It's not worth it. I'd rather have the crit chance and slash, honestly. Uh, Raticate. I'm not 100% convinced we're gonna outspeed. Whereas I know I can go into KFC and be fine. Double hit. Are you dead? Are you good? Are we good? I see. No matter. You're bound to be far too late already. You don't even know what we're after. Oh? I just seems to have dropped something. TMO6. Toxic. Okay. Um... I think I want to heal. I think I want to heal right now. This has been a hectic episode, <laughs> all of a sudden. Um, things seem to have got very intense. I'm going to run back and heal. We are going to get to the Safari Zone this episode. It might be a slightly longer episode. It might be like 40, 45 minutes. Uh, I don't know, because there have been cuts and stuff in between. Uh, but it's likely going to be a little bit of a longer episode. I think we still have more fights. If there's no more fights after this and I ran back for no reason, I'm going to be a little bit annoyed, obviously, but oh well. It's better to be safe than sorry. Alright, Mira, Buck, Cheryl. We really only have three fights. That's crazy. Feels like so many. Well, four. Uh, anyone else? I was waiting for an event to happen on that bridge. Okay, we still have more. Alright, let's get this underway. Marley, I've been waiting for you. We were able to hold them off, but we couldn't defeat them. But now you're here, we can. That makes me happy. Now we should defeat these people. Some shy girl and a kid aren't going to beat us. Yes, yes they are. Yes they are. Electrode and Noctowl. Uh, no? No. We're gonna go into Scar. It resists both of the Pokemon we're up against. Sneasel should take out the Noctowl pretty easily with like Ice Punch or something. Charge me probably going for. Oh no, it is going for me. Okay, calm down. Don't buff. That sucks. That's bad. Ice Punch does hit the Noctowl. That should do a ton of damage if it doesn't kill. That's a Sneasel, not even a Weavile. That's a Sneasel. Sneasel, too strong. Confirmed. That's kind of bad. <laughs> um, all of a sudden, I want to be in with Chica. I'm basically just going to keep using whatever Pokemon is best against the opposing two. Obviously, best case scenario here, Sneasel, like, just kills that Electrode, because Electrode scares me. It has Aftermath, it can self-destruct. Both of these Pokemon can self-destruct. But a nice punch on the Graveler is a nice second thing. You know, it's gonna do a lot of damage. It's gonna do a lot of damage, okay. Gonna go for the rollout, that's gonna hurt. Mm-hmm, okay, that hurts, got it. We're gonna go for the Earth Power on the Electrode, though. Because I want the Electrode dead, and Sneasel should take out the Graveler. Ooh, that was a little bit close. It's gonna use Pursuit on the Graveler to try and stop it from swapping. Look at the plays! Look at that hot play. Damn, okay. We're gonna go for the Earth Power on the Electrode, which is gonna be some good damage. Okay, okay. Let's speed that up. That's some good damage. We're gonna go for the Earth Power on the Magneton now, though. Goodbye, Magneton. And now we're gonna go back to Earth Power on the Electrode, and we should be good. Nice and easy. Mischievous is the last Pokemon. We can Giga Drain against that, and we should have no worries. He got chunked. He got chunked just there. Finally, a Venomoth. I will swap against the Venomoth, though. That is something I will swap against. We'll go into Mozilla against that. Skingex is a... Dinjusk sweep? Okay. Uh, what just happened? Thank you. I appreciate it. Just a bit. I'll heal your Pokemon up. Okay. I, f I hope that's the last battle. It might not be, but I hope that's the last battle. Because this was a hectic bunch of battles with a lot of characters... An executive? Oh no. Oh no, I don't know if I'm ready. Did the game just 
Freeze on me here? Really? Here? You're freezing on me here? <laughs> this is where we're wrapping up for this episode. We will start off the next episode right back off here, but I don't want to run back through all of that again right now. If you guys have enjoyed this episode, leave a like down below, hit that subscribe button, and without further ado, bye!